Good morning, Ali Ashton here. Um, new day, new project. In this video, I'm going to share with you my process. I've done this a few times before, but they're always a bit different. Um, my process of making a man's hold all out of um, an old leather jacket belonging to uh, my customer. He's given me his jacket. Um, I've chose the lining from the, sh the batch of shirts I've got and I'm going to put it uh, put the lining with a bit of denim um, so in the video I will just I'm just going to take you through the materials that I'm going to use and also um, the pattern um, I will also um, periodically throughout the process of making this bag do little snippet videos or possibly Facebook live videos of certain stages of the bag like putting the zip in, um, cutting up the coat, um, making the lining etc. So if you're interested in making a hold all um, please follow this video and also there will be a blog post accompanying the videos um, when the bag is complete and it's been handed over to its rightful owner. So uh, just to take you through what we're using for the project today. Um, this is his coat. It's um, just, just right up my street. This is the sort of leather I love working with. The old aged leather um, and fab pockets, especially good for a hold all. Good on any bag, but I just love these big pockets, uh, useful pockets on a hold all. So I will be putting both pockets together on the one side. Um, there's some really good features on the, there's like the elbow pads uh, on the sleeves, which will be great part of possibly the corners of the hold all. Um, yeah, I, uh, I mean, I do plan as I go along. There's no hard and fast rules, but um, these will make great corners to uh, each side of the um, panels of the... It'll all become apparent as I as I move through the process. Um, so that's the jacket. Um, I may... I may use the lining in it because it's quite a nice lining. Um, but if not, if, it's, if there's not enough of that lining of the coat, I will be using this shirt and there's a blue stripe in the shirt, so I will be putting a bit of denim with it. Um, so that's that. Now, um, I have no professional um, university pattern cutting. I've not done any courses for pattern cutting. I've li I am literally self-taught. Um, taking inspiration from bags that I see and make my own patterns for. Um, so the pattern for a hold all is really very simple. It is literally taken from um, a Kath Kidston. I took, um, I think the other man's hold all is a Kath Kidston. I know the ladies one um, is inspired from that. Um, but it's the same sort of process. I've just changed the shape of it for the man's one. So basically I need today to make a new pattern for this holder because I've just dug out the pattern that I used last time I made one and it looks like a mouse has been at it. So basically it is, this is just half, the, the one half. It is just a simple rectangle like so with the corners rounded off. Um, you can keep it square. I like to round it off. And then the gusset is... If I just show you the ladies one. Um, excuse me, disappearing. I'll just stuff this so you can see the shape a bit better. Um, it is the same, same sort of um, pattern as the ladies one, but it's just longer. So basically it's two shapes, front and back, and then your gusset, however wide you want it for your bag. Um, this one's about six inches, I'd probably do it about ten for this man's hold all, um, which I think would be more useful size-wise. So um, that's the, the shape, very, very simple. Front, back, gusset, C, um, 
placket for the zip all sewn together and exactly the same process for the lining one sewed inside the other it all sounds a bit complicated if you're not a sewer but it is pretty simple and I can take you through the stages if you um, want any extra info on how to do certain parts of it please just comment below if you would like to see the bag that I'm making finished uh, obviously from another jacket so you can see the shape and style of it I will post a little link in the comments um, of a past one that I did uh, a couple of years back um, so that you can see how this is going to turn out or better still just tune back uh, in a couple of days and you can see this actual bag finished I'll be adding uh, the leather from the jacket to seatbelt um, strapping like so just gives it a proper um, tough feel and makes it last uh, a lifetime so uh, if you want to see my past creations all styles so far created on alibond.com you can also come and visit me and show me some love on my new blog and pass comment, um, like and share anything that you like on aliashton.com and of course alibond.com and if you would also like to know how I'm marketing myself through video and on the social platforms please just message me and I can share the system that I'm using I will see you later in the next stages of this hold all overnight bag. Thanks for watching. Bye.